I love how we slow this play down right here. I love, I know we have like open space. It's a little bit more straightforward, but we just slow the play down really good. Mechanics look fine. I would say if anything, we look a little Aki with our challenges and 50s and slow play mechanics, like doing mechanics at a slower speed. Mechanics all, all together look fine. You don't look too rusty. Very good. You like, you know, that aerial was clean. Like if your mechanics were rusty, you would not have the confidence for a cut. Yeah, I actually low low key want I might want to tackle mechanics through slow play. Like more more low 50s, more dribbles. Um not just ground dribbles, but like catch into air dribble, catch into wall dribble, whatever. Very good. I want more of that. I want more plays that look like that, but you have a hundred boosts and you're choosing to slow it down. When you play patient, especially in champion, grand champ, everyone throws the ball away. Let me show some examples for you, okay? Of like what I'm talking about, because it's kind of weird, but like I want you to do this more and I want you to practice it. And typically like this will get your mechanics better as well. And there's also this indirect approach where we're playing patient to get better time on the ball. So like you won't get better mechanics if you just rush in like this. If, if that makes sense. So like how, how do you get better mechanics in Rocket League? There's free play, there's training packs, right? But then it's practicing mechanics in game. But you're not going to get better mechanics by throwing yourself at the ball. You will actually get better mechanics by faking this play or slow playing it and playing their first touch, playing a low 50 into control. Any sort of slow, patient play allows for better mechanics or practice. So, like, this is a good example. We are lurking. You are lurking right now. Lurking is good. And you could lurk at different speeds. This is, this is a crawl. But, like, you're lurking right now. And then we approach. And then we slow down. And you do your play. I don't want this where you just dive at the ball. Let's fake this. The game sense behind this play, you have a third man rotating back who, who will be playing deep third because of boost. You are a second man. You can attack the ball, but the only way that this will prove to be productive is if you could turn it into control, which is an option, or you can fake and you have this huge pocket of space to work with where this player is cycling this way and you could fake this, this player throws the ball away and then create your offense, whether it's wall, air, ground. So you're using a defensive element, a patient element to be mechanical. Good, this would be a good example. See how we're lurking, waiting, watching, and then eventually this is air dribble, right? Like, this is your mechanics. I like this play. It's a little choppy, but, but like, this is a slow play. A slow play, a low 50. I like that. And you can see how you use a defensive element, and it gives your teammate open time on the ball. So what I want to do with you, man, is I want you to lurk more. I want you to look for more 50s like that. I want you to look for your ball control, and we're going to... Tackle mechanics just by trying to create better time on the ball. And I will say, if you want to play fast, I want you to play fast through cut rotation and through demos. So if we're ever going to be fast, it's going to look like this, where we're cutting. That's when we play fast, or it's going to be a demo. But when we play slow, it's when we're vertical, like this. This is when we play slow, when you're taking like one-on-one -on -one vertical challenges. So. What you can do, lurk more, focus your positioning, look for slow play 50s, look for fake challenges. That's all patient play. And then we'll cut and demo more when we want to be fast. Like on the horizon is mechanics, but mostly like, I think the root of our mechanical problems is we need to be in better positions where we can be mechanical. So it's like less dive challenges. Because, like, you know, we just shoot ourselves in the foot, man. Look at the game sense of this play. 
It's 3-3. Three, three. I'm a third man. If you go up for this ball, the only way that this ball is going to prove productive based on a teammate and a teammate, and it's not directly on net, is if you turn this into a control play, which is possible, but for the rank we're at, champion, it's a little bit harder to control this. You need advanced reset mechanics or soft touch on the wall. And you're also boost limited. You only have 40 boost right now. So your play right here only works if you're like a first man and you have a second man right here. See how it just gives the ball away? You go fast, you go aggressive. You just give them the ball, there's no control. And now they transition counterattack. So this is why I want more lurking, more fake challenges, more control. We're gonna build on that. I'm a big root guy. I love myself some root vegetables. I like to tackle roots in Rocket League because the game is very situational. And if you could somehow stumble across the root of the problem, that's how you see a bigger impact in gameplay. And basically, I think the root, like number one, I know we need to get better mechanics, but I think the root of the mechanics is how we play. Like we're just not setting ourselves up for mechanics as much. Like I want to see more opportunities where you have wide open space.